Alright, hey guys, it's Nintendo Collector, and we are finally here for the video you've all been waiting for. My one year anniversary Nintendo Collection video. Yes, it's final here, and before I get started, I just want to tell you guys I can't thank you enough for all the views I've gotten on my original one. And it's been great being one year on YouTube. Really appreciate it, all you subscribers, fans, everything. Just, I know you guys don't want to hear me talk about that stuff, but I really appreciate it. You don't even know. But enough of that, let's go in. But I don't know if you guys are ready. Are you ready for the action of the Nintendo room? Well, I think you guys are, so here it is. Yes, my room. We have, my, I'm not going to do a huge introduction because I already did this video once and I ran out of time, so I kind of want to make it fast. Nintendo Collector presents my Nintendo Collection one year anniversary. Oh, yeah! I don't want to talk about everything, but I want to put enough detail so you guys can get a whole visual of my room. I'll go in a little circle here so you kind of get the feel of my room. And where I'm standing, the floor, my bed, all that different stuff. Alright, starting out we see my dry erase whiteboard. It has a lot of Nintendo magnets, other things, etc, etc. I won't talk about that. My Nerf basketball hoop, hockey stick. Um, I like to shoot Nerf hoops uh, before I go to bed. So, uh... Another thing I want to tell you guys, I don't know if you noticed, is I actually have a water bed. Um, I've had one for all my videos. don't know if any of you guys actually noticed that. Anyway, there's my iPod stuff. Um, iPod Shuffle, one gigabyte. Uh, hoping to get a touch soon. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Some blank DVD-Rs. I like to burn a, like slideshows and stuff and bring them to family like events and gatherings of pictures from old family events and gatherings. We like to do that. Um, there's my fish, Franck. Now, you guys might know about him, and you might not. He has his own YouTube channel, which I'll plug in right now. Oh, and I'll also yeah. put a link on the description of this video. But Franck has his own YouTube channel, and you should definitely ke uh, check him out and subscribe. Yes, he has one video. The channel is meant to be a joke. But he actually has seven subscribers. Uh, kind of weird. Kind of funny, too. Uh, but still, you should subscribe, just as a joke. Um... <laughs> There's my flashlight, my water bottle, refillable one, go eco-friendly, don't keep wasting water bottles, uh, cough cough Daniel, who does it every five seconds. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's my Super Mario Bros. Super Show Volume 1 DVD, which is playing right now on my TV, on my DVD player, and now while we're over here, I will tell you guys about my nightstand. We have my lamp, my easy button, that was easy, my, uh, alarm clock, my cell phone and my wallet underneath that. I have an NV2. I won't get into that or anything. That's just saying. Um, DVD player is connected. I think I already said that. But I had to run the wire all the way around my shelf into my entertainment center, which was a hassle because my shelf is actually anchored to the wall. Um, that's enough about that. We have my home phone, uh, my nerd drawer where I keep all my nerd needs, uh, my trash can. I'll start top to bottom now on my shelf. We have a power pad with Donkey Kong and other arcade original signs. There's little figures here on the sides. Um, up here we have a head of a Virtual Boy and Nintendogs Dalmatian and Friends uh, like display box thing. Super Mario Bros. Pinball. The uh, U Ubisoft, I think that's how you say it, Wii Wheel before the original, or not the original, the um, a licensed Nintendo uh, Wii Wheel came out. I got that for Excite Truck, and uh, it was pretty good, but then the Wii Wheel came out, and I'm like, this is so much better. But anyway, uh, there's a Super Mario 64 pinball machine and some random Super Nintendo games up there, which I'll tell you why they're up there in a second. Um, my NES shelf, which really hasn't changed a lot. Um, I got a few more loose games, not many box games. I'm not a huge box game collector, but I hope to get more in the future. Um, but anyway, oh yeah, I got Battletoads uh, for a buck at the uh, um, thrift store. And I usually, Battletoads around where I live is a pretty expensive game. Uh, don't need, know if you need to know that or not. Anyway, here's my Super Nintendo shelf. Now, I actually ran out of room, as you can tell. And that's why I have random games laying up there. I'm happy and sad about it at the same time. I'm happy because I finally got all of it filled up. But I'm mad and sad because I have no more room. <laughs> so that's a little bit about that. We have my N64 shelf, which really hasn't changed at all. Except for I got rid of my Hey You Pikachu 64. I didn't actually get rid of it. Um, 
I actually just moved it. You'll see where it is in a minute. Anyway, I have my DVD box. That's a few Weird Al CDs. Uh, I don't buy CDs. I use iTunes, if any of you are wondering. Anyway, my DS games. I got a few more of those. If you can tell, some Kirby PVC figures. My Wii box and Guitar Hero on tour, which I might do a review of. I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking about it as a sequel to my Guitar Hero 3 review. Anyway, here's my stylus pen that makes noise. Gotta love that. Anyway, uh, my GameCube shelf hasn't changed at all. Not a big GameCube collector. I won't go into that much. And my last shelf, which has all my Game Boy games in that bucket and really unorganized. I was hoping to organize a little bit more for you guys, but as you can see, I kind of am talking fast, running out of time. I want to be able to show you guys everything. Um, anyway, here's my new entertainment center, which is a total upgrade from my little... Um, just dresser and other random things I had games sitting on. Um, so we got my NES, SNES, uh, N64, GameCube, and Wii hooked up. Very happy that I finally have all my systems hooked up at once. Um, before I go to the bottom drawer, i just show you guys up here. We have some Germex, my DS case, which has my DS in it. My Guitar Hero 3 Wii uh, guitar uh, with the Nintendo beanie on top. And back here we have some Nintendo posters and stuff. My favorite is the Legend of Zelda um, overworld map. Anyway, Virtual Boy Complete. I uh, only have a few games for that. My new Pride and Joy, my Nintendo Action Set, still in the box. Um, I got that at a flea market for about 50 bucks. It's mint condition. Everything is still in there. Um, so, that's really cool. My Gyro Might box with Rob, which you all know about. If you've seen my um, Rob Gyro might review. On the TV we still have the Super Mario Brothers Super Show playing from my DVD player. Once again very nice. And down here in my bottom drawer we have my stereo which I will sell or just get rid of once I get an iPod Touch soon for Christmas with a universal dock so I can play it from my TV. Um, over here that's my music stand. I play trombone if any of you knew that, um, but I don't have any music in here right now, so I just set that on there. Anyway, we have my shoes, my sandals, my foot, um, my other foot, okay, never mind. Um, yeah. Anyway, here's my secret passage. I don't think you guys got the right feel of that, but if you, what I meant by that is, it doesn't even look like it's there, and then you walk over here, and bam, we got my Wii games, my rare Super Nintendo games, some controllers and GBA boxes. Um, so that's something really cool. And my pride and joy right here, Earthbound, uh, oh, with the guides yeah. and a few old strategy guides. Now I'm actually going to move this for you guys because I don't think you guys have ever got to see like the Game Boy case. It's never, it's always been covered up for some reason. So I'll just set those there. And here's the actual Game Boy case. Um, so that's really cool. Anyway, put you on there. Moving on, uh, GameCube backpack. We have my closet. Uh, not much to talk about. Rock Band box, a lot of other boxes, random stuff. All these Nintendo Powers and stuff. Spare Nesses, 64s, whatnot. Um, a lot of plush dolls in there. I don't really like to display plush dolls because they get like really dusty and stuff. So, some old controllers, weights, my clothes, and... We have my desk, which you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. No, not really. My desk is actually really cluttered. cluttered, cluttered. I'll try to go fast because I'm actually running out of time, and I want to have a time to tell you guys something. Um, we have my rock band stuff, my drums, my guitar, other stuff. We fit Matt. My friend actually gave me his Wii box, so I'm excited about that. We have everything on my desk. Yeah. Okay, I have like less than a minute, so I'll hurry this up. There's my Hey Pikachu 64. We have a random Halo action figure back here that nobody cares about. Um, Master Chief, a lot of other random Nintendo figures, boxes, etc. Um, so, that's about that. And we have my top shelf, which has changed a little bit. Not really. Got Rob up there, Thermos, and yeah. Alright, so I'm sorry this was a really quick tour, but I really just wanted to show you guys everything. Um, if there was a spot in the video that you couldn't see very well, um, mention it to me, and maybe in my next Nintendo Collection video in a few months, or half a year <laughs> or so, I'll go over that. 
or you could just pause the video at parts you can't see very well and that'll give you a better feel. So this is Nintendo Collector and I will see you later. Don't forget to watch us live. Oh yeah!